This episode of Android Authority is brought to you by Carbonite, automatic cloud backup for your computer files at home and at work. Start your free trial at Carbonite.com with the offer code ANDROID and you'll get two bonus months with purchase. Welcome back to Android Weekly. My name is Jace, and this is where we cover the week's Android news, like how Samsung is refusing to be outdone by Apple's silly fingerprint scanning or Google's silly Google Glass that requires blinking. No, Samsung is seeking a cooler, more sophisticated route with user identification with its new patented biometric iris scanning technology. Dad, can you unlock your phone for me, please? Sure. Ready, Dad? Yeah. Okay. Dad, what do you see? I see dead pixels. Now, of course, Samsung's iris scanner won't work quite like that, but it does combine a proximity sensor with a light emitting source for fast and accurate biometric identification. The goal is to develop a secure, easy to use method for securing mobile devices that users would prefer over pins, passwords, and fingerprint scanners. Now all this came coupled with the news from the Korean site ZDNet that Samsung is now ready to start mass producing the WQHD display, that crazy, crazy big display for a mobile phone, as early as February 2014. Does that mean that's when we can see the flagship Galaxy S5 launch? We don't know. But those high resolution displays are confirmed and I have to echo the complaint that many of you have that, you know, we have this crazy ever increasing high resolution screens on small mobile devices and yet so little innovation when it comes to practical things like battery life. Hmm. But from a marketing perspective, you can see how easier and sexier it is to sell that big 2K display on a little device than it is battery life, schmattery life. I mean, come on, look at the benefits. With that kind of display, you could zoom in painfully close to see my nose hairs. See, if you look over here, you can see a mix of red and brown, and over here, there's some chunky stuff I can never get out no matter how well I clean it. <laughs> Moving on to some great news with regards to the granddaddy of custom ROMs, CyanogenMod. Oppo has announced via their Google Plus page that the Oppo N1 version running CyanogenMod will ship as early as December 24th. But if that wasn't wonderful news enough, the CyanogenMod team announced a huge milestone in their history just last Thursday. The Oppo N1 will be the first Google certified CyanogenMod phone. Do you know what that means, puppies? Well, this means that this Google certified phone will be able to access the Google Play Store, play Google apps without having to sideload anything. That, my friends, deserves a happy dance for every freedom lover out there. Daddy, please don't jump again. I'll go get mom. I'm okay, I'm okay. I should just really move on to Pebble smartwatch news though. The company behind the Pebble smartwatch has launched what's called the Pebble Education Project, whereby they are donating more than 4,000 smartwatches to engineering and computer science students across the US. Why? Well, not only to teach them about smartwatch technology, but to increase the possibility that those engineers will go on to create new apps for the new Pebble App Store. Not to feel left out, if your university has not been included in this program, you can go to the Pebble website and submit an application on behalf of your university. But if you're older like me and out of school and you still want to take advantage of these great gadgets, Android Authority has some great deals for you below where you can get the smartwatch and the Chromecast for fantastic deals right now. And if you're really quick, you can get them before Christmas. Good luck. Now, because I'm one of those people who have the uncanny ability to capture people's pictures at just the right moment, those pictures are precious. You do not want to lose them. Capturing my son's face when I let him win at Battlefield 4, and then again when I pwn him on COD. And then when I got him again with all his little friends watching. Oh, I got a little tear. Booyah! You really don't want to lose those precious files. I know I don't. So we all need a way to be able to back up our most important data automatically. 
Whether you have multiple computers at home or at work, Carbonite has an affordable plan for you to do just that. Automatically back up your most important files to the cloud so you don't have to. Now I can hook you up with a free trial, no credit card required, if you go to Carbonite.com with the offer code ANDROID, you get two bonus months if you decide to buy. Thank you for watching Android Peeps, my name is Jace, and if you found this helpful in any way, kindly give us a like and subscribe, love to connect with you here on Google Plus and Twitter, and don't forget my brothers in Android, Josh, Joe, and the Tech Ninja, Kevin, yes, and remember people don't forget, regardless of the gadgets you're getting this Christmas or not getting for this holiday season, enjoy the holiday spirit. Are you ready?